Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day and April 1st. Happy uh, April Fool's Day, everyone. Hey, just uh, uh, we got a bunch of economic news releases scheduled for today, so we're going to jump right into it. And we'll start out with the ADP. This is the private uh, jobs or in the private sector here for the month of March. So we had our 214,000 back in February new jobs created, which was a good number, and it dropped down to 189. So only 189,000 jobs according to ADP. Uh, we're creating March. So remember, we got the Bureau of Labor Statistics. These are the bigger numbers we really kind of uh, put more uh, emphasis on uh, that will be released on Friday. And tomorrow we'll have the jobless claims. We got the market PMI. In this, so these are some manu manufacturing numbers here for the month of March. So we had a 55.3 back in February. And it went up a little bit to 55.7. So a decent number there. But on the other hand, we also have ISM uh, for the month of March. So we had a 52.9, and it dropped down to 51.5. So that one pulled back. So a little big, mixed bag of news there. And then we got construction spending, which also shows a negative. So we had January at negative 1.7. We were supposed to go up above. And actually, again, it contracted a little bit further, another 0.1% for the month of February. So kind of a mixed bag of news there. Employment numbers weren't as good as we had hoped. Uh, Market PMI was the only one that was a little decent uh, from what we uh, had previous. Uh, the others are down. Uh, so as a result, the stock market's down. There's also corporate earnings being reported. Uh, so again, uh, the emphasis is that first quarter wasn't so good, so they're concerned about a lot of the, the corporate earnings coming out that probably will be disappointing. Uh, so let's take a look here at the bond market, and as you can see, we're kind of taking advantage of it, and they are actually improving. So as a result, we're getting a little better interest rates as a result of the uh, stock market's demise. So good news uh, for the bond market. So if you're looking to refinance or buy a home, these are obviously great news uh, for those folks. So interest rates here are a little bit of improvement today. All right, folks, uh, remember, tomorrow we have the uh, jobless claims t number, and uh, so we'll check you guys out tomorrow all right so stay tuned and uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow take care